Hey, this is Kraus. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 19. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you guys do enjoy this, make sure you give this video a like and also leave some nice feedback in the comment section. But ladies and gentlemen, in the previous episode of Farming Simulator, we got into cows. It sounds terrible, but it's not. I adore him. Like, this does transform the farm quite a bit. However, I think yesterday I spent two hours tending to my animals in-game. Like, <laughs> they require more attention than my kids in real life. It's just crazy. But uh, I love them at the same time, okay? But you need to, like, you know, feed them, give them water, clean after them. It's just a never-ending story. Now we have cows, we have chicken, we have horses. Uh, what else is there in-game? Pigs and sheep, I believe, right? Oh, boy. But anyhow, you know what? Uh, they've done quite a bit of uh, production in between uh, the episodes. Uh, if we just check here, they've produced 5,400 liters of milk, uh, quite a bit of slurry and quite a bit of manure. I think we're going to get to that in the next episode, because today I do have something else in mind. Uh, also, yeah, in between episodes, I placed this guy over here. This is how the water tanks look in game. Uh, they're pretty darn nifty. Like, you just place it here and there's a kind of never-ending source of water, I guess. And... Since those guys, they do drink quite a bit, uh, that is not a bad thing to have whatsoever. But in today's episode, you guys have been telling me, Kralis, if you want to make the big bucks, you should get into the silage business, uh, precisely the corn silage business. And I think it's also known as chaff, 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 and no, I'm not talking about British chaffs. I think it's called chaff or something. So that is something we're going to do today. We're going to buy ourselves a new field, somewhere buzz on the map, and start farming some corn and see how that goes. Uh, not done at any game yet, so it's going to be a little bit interesting. But before we do that, I'm going to do something. This area over here is so, so naked. You might be like, don't do it. And I'm like, I'm doing it. I've been looking at one thing, okay? I'm not sure this is going to be the wisest idea I've ever had in my life, but I've been looking at this, the old red barn, and I know it does not serve any purpose besides being like a decoration piece, but I think it's going to transform the farm a little bit, especially just hide away a little bit of the ugliness over here, or the nakedness. Uh, since I can't find any bushes in the game, otherwise I would use bushes for this task, but um, where's the front, where's the back? I guess that is... Okay, let's face the, the front towards the cows, maybe? <laughs> like 60k for this <laughs> with some terraforming. <laughs> this is just insane. <laughs> but let me just see here. If I would place, I'm just going to align it correctly over here uh, with the fence a little bit like a so, and like a so. And then maybe have it uh, somewhere like, like here. Zzz, I know you're screaming. Poop it down. What have I done? Zzz, what have I done? You know what? It's not that terrible. It even comes with a little AC unit up there. The only thing I wish for is that you could enter those buildings. Uh, I'm not sure why why giants have not made that a thing. Because, I mean, it's a beautiful building. So they took the time to model the building, but interior-wise, nothing. Giants make it happen, I guess. But uh, I know it looks a little bit bad uh, over here. Now we have screwed up this. However, this makes kind of a nice ramp as well. And then we can have another uh, thing going down over here, maybe, or something. Ladies and gentlemen, it is absolutely not bad. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do some landscaping around here. And uh, and we should be fine. Like if we should, if we can just flatten that down the terrain a little bit, like like a so. And then we can maybe just do a little like road going here. Something like so. Can I have a tree over here? You guys have been asking me, Kralz, how the crap do you obtain the landscaping mod? Well, it's not a mod. It's something which is going to be released in the game very, very soon if it hasn't already. And if it hasn't, this is how you unlock it. So this is Steam and PC. So go to your Steam a game library, find Farming Simulator 19, right-click, choose Properties. Now go all the way to the Betas tab, and in this drop-down menu, choose Patch 1.2.0 underscore beta. Let it download, and uh, this patch includes a terraforming or landscaping tool. Capiche? Pretty easy, right? I know some of you are going like, oh my goodness, did he just waste all that cash on a pointless barn and some landscaping? Yes, he did, and uh, no regrets. To me, stuff like this is important, okay? It's gotta look nice, and uh, does it? Yeah! Like, it looks like a farm, it looks cozy, it looks welcoming. It's, it's like a piece of home. I still haven't figured out what to have on, uh, on this side, because I do want to have like a ramp going down, connecting to that road, but... Uh, We'll see you later on. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Oh my gosh. Looky, looky at my cookie. Okay, that is not shabby whatsoever. You know what we could have? Since I can't have find any bushes or hedges, I'm not sure that would be a thing. But what if we would do like a ditch, landscape down a ditch over here? Then we could kind of like reverse down uh, 
like a trench, uh, reverse down a trailer. Not this one, because this sucks reversing, but uh, that one. And then we can maybe just push off the eggs over the side. Because now at this stage, you know, picking a box up and dropping it is a little bit tedious. Hmm, interesting. But let's buy a piece of land and get into the corn business, shall we? And I've been thinking, I don't do it often, but when I do, my wife gets super proud. The wisest idea here would be to buy a piece of land with corn already seeded on it. And I believe, orange, I believe we have two. We have 18, field number 18, outside the spinnery. And we have field number four. How expensive is this? 812k. I don't have that, but I do have a beautiful old red barn. Uh, and this one over here, 171. The thing about this is like getting one of those, uh, getting this one, that's not going to leave much room for machinery. But let's do this anyhow. So what we could do is maybe just lease the machines. And then if it proves profitable, we can maybe just buy the machines. Yeehaw! Ladies and gentlemen, this is all mine, or ours, I would say. It's fantastic. This is like a horror movie. They always do that in horror movies. They always, they always run into the cornfields for some reason unknown. And the thing about uh, harvesting corn for a silage, or a chef, or what they call it, I don't think you need to wait until it's fully grown, because you just use this part, right? The green part. Zzz. Okay, time will tell, but uh, this is crazy cool. We are expanding. Just took like 14 episodes, but uh, well, it is what it is, I guess. Hi, Carlo. And I also forgot to pick those guys up. This is the hay bales for my animals. But you know what? This is going to be an episode spent inside of the shop menu, I guess. Because what do we need exactly? Um, it's got to be the forage harvesters, right? We have... Uh, a beautiful Russian one. We also have the New Holland and the Crone. It's gotta be something like this, right? Yeah. Because they, like the Forge Harvester themselves, I don't think they have any like holding space. So what you do is you either connect like a trailer to it or uh, just drive a tractor next, next, next to it. As I see it. Or maybe I'm super wrong. I think I might go for this guy over here. It's so huge, holy crap. So uh, we'll brand a trailer board and we'll set up, you know what, I guess wide or standard. This is going to be leased for 14k. It's expensive, I know, but uh, let's do this. It's a beauty. It's, uh, it's, it's a beauty. Let's lease that one. And then to this guy, we would need a forge header, I believe, right? Forge harvester headers. Uh, what is this? Uh, three meters across. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so that's just normal uh, ones, I guess. This over here takes corn, so we would either need this one, which is going to be huge. Because it's going to unfold as well, right? Um, But that's going to require the bigger version of the, of, the, the, of the forager. So let's get this one over here. This should be enough for us, right? I, I think so. Boom, done it. No regrets. Let me just check it out. How does this even look? Mm -hmm. It looks a little bit funny, doesn't it? But yet amazing. Ah, oh, does this even do anything? Just press some buttons. Uh, turn harvester pipe out. It's a huge pipe. But yeah, do we need a trailer behind this guy? Because the thing is, I think I'd rather... Does we have beacons? Yes, we do have beacons. Uh, how about the horn? Perfect. And unfold. Yeah, the thing is, like, I'd rather have uh, a tractor just uh, driving next next to this guy. Because we're going to be going back and forth, back and forth with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the chef, or whatever it's called, right? This is not too shabby. And there's still so much machines in the game which I haven't even seen seen yet. Okay, so we have one piece of the puzzle. Now let's think about this. Uh, we don't really need a planter uh, now, but I guess we will need that later on. Uh, so planters, right? Or no, you know what, let's talk maybe with a trailer for this guy. And yeah, I think I'd just rather just be next to them and uh, loading stuff. 
But which one, which one, which one is which? Um, that is 52k. Holy crap, he takes a lot of stuff. The, the shite maker. Oh, I like the shite maker. Siva 720, shite maker. Because of name, I guess. A configuration extension. There is 48,500 liters in this guy. And is that one of those um, which comes with a conveyor belt? It is, right? So that is a conveyor belt. The shite maker is not a bad, uh, not a bad thing. Just because we can, okay? I'm gonna go with the extension configuration, and obviously we're gonna lease that as well. So now we have a trailer, we have the the forager, right? And what else do we need? Hmm. We would need a planter eventually. So let's just check it out. How much would that cost to lease a, a, at least one of those guys? Um, the Vettel start over here. That requires a 300 horsepower engine, which I got on the on the John Diarrhea. That is 180 uh, horsepower engine. Holds 9,000 liters of something and reaches 9 meters. How about that? 12. What's the initial lease cost on this guy? Holy crap. So this guy is the one who plants corn. So that is 6.5k compared to this guy, which is 4.7k. But then again, it's 9 meters. So it's not a huge field we've got. And it has more capacity as well. Like it's 9k in this one. There's only 7,880k in this one for, for seeds, that is. And how about this one? Yeah, that is, look at this. Like, this would work as well. But, I mean, uh, that is 696 liters. Then we need to buy one of those extensions, I guess. Horsch. Uh, let's just double check. Horsch, you plant corn? Yes, you do. Even, even like, uh, beets and stuff. Okay. Uh, Horsch Mastro. 12SW. Lease, lease, please. Uh, we also need... How much did I say that was? That was... Oh, crap. I forgot about the planter. I guess we're going to be using a, 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 like a like a work for this at, at some times, right? But there's 9k. Let's at least get... Uh, let's get like... Three... Four of those guys, I think it was. And then we should be pretty much done. Is there anything else we need? Oh yeah, we do! Because what we do... Then, after we are done with this, we need one of those bunkers. Uh, those silo bunkers for, for uh, silage, right? Uh, that would mean we would need um, the levelers. So we would need one of those. This is something you connect to the tractor and kind of, kind of flatten the, the silage, I believe, right? So should we lease or buy? Lease it. Okay, let's just lease it for the moment. And we also need... How wide was this? 4.8. This is 5. This is something which we also need. Because this kind of extends kind of like one of those snow shovels, right? Um, 4.8 and 5. Lease. Yeah, I could have bought this, I guess, but it is what it is. That should be pretty much it. Holy crap, we have equipment in masses. So, there's a beautiful trailer. That's something we're going to be use using in the beginning stages. This guy is going to be pooping out the stuff in this. Then I take the, the John over here. John and me are going to go back to base, uh, get ourselves uh, one of those uh, silo... What, what do you even call those guys? Let me see here. Um, silos. Yeah, bunker silo. So we're going to go out for one of them at the base. And then we're going to be pooping it out the, the silage. And then we're going to be flattening it with this, right? As I see it. But um, first things first. Let's get the stuff to the field. And I guess we're going to start with the forager. Because, uh, well, I can't really. Because he can't be working without us. Or maybe. Let's uh, see. For testing purposes. Because yeah, this is this has not uh, got any internal storage whatsoever. Uh, so uh, we need one trailer. But I'm thinking, can we connect those guys up? I don't think we can. Or maybe. It's a thing. The shite maker. But man, it, maybe this is going to work anywho. Hmm. We'll see if this works or not. I guess there was other trailers. But I mean, how can you neglect a shite maker? Because we're literally going to be making shites. Shite is going to be produced. So obviously you need a shite maker for this task. <sighs> I am not sure this is going to work. Uh, I'm so sorry about your cones, okay? But uh, this is my piece of land now. 
pipe out. How exactly does this operate? It's very interesting. And I'm not sure this is gonna this is this is the way to go. But we'll see. Okay, it's it's not perfect. <laughs> this is awesome. Let's go cruise control on this bad boy. Okay, it's 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 working. Don't ask me how. But look at this pipe job. So guess what we could do is get uh, the tractor just next to this. You know what I'm gonna? If I would H this up, how would a how would a worker do this do this turn? Uh, he wouldn't really do much now, would he? I'm gonna just position this guy. Oh yeah, look at that! The pipe is turning uh, towards the orientation of the of the trailer. You guys see this? Okay, so let's just park this guy like here. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna grab the 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 John. The John <laughs> sounds so bad. And then I'm gonna be driving next doors uh, or next to this guy. And I'm gonna see once we reach the far end if the worker would be able to turn that. Because otherwise, I bought the wrong field. I got tricked into the situation. I'm gonna be running all the way back. Why am I running? I don't know. I can just tab it. Don't tab it. Excuse moi, excuse moi. Uh, once being here, maybe we could load up the, the planter as well. Easy, steady, easy. Get in there. Can I just refill it like so? Okay. You know what? Mistakes have maybe been made. Because, like, I mean, uh, it seems like we're half full on uh, on corn seeds. Maybe not. Let's see here. Uh, yeah. Okay. I... Oh, no, momento. Didn't that it say there was 9,000 liters? The horse? Yeah, 9,000 liters, Horsch. Horsch? Why are you deceiving? This is like a uh, false advertisement. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe... Uh, do you think it would be solid fertilizer in that? Okay, Horsch, you're a little nifty, but still, like, I feel tricked, because we only have 2,000 seeds of corn. So I'm just going to temporarily park this guy on the road over here. Like so. And then let's check this out. So if I take the trailer and hire a worker for that and then just drive alongside uh, the forager, how would my worker uh, cope with that? The shite maker's connected. Um... Am I in the way for him, you think? You know what it might be? Maybe I'm just too close, because I mean, he's got a huge pipe, that guy. I don't know why I said that. Um, don't judge me, okay? No freaking way! He's squirting all over me! Ooh, so, 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 so. Slow down, slow down, slow down! Uh, he's like normal squirt. There we go. Okay, this is crazy amazing. <laughs> this is so awesome. I'm sorry, I'm a nerd. 
I can't help myself. And now he turns. And that's something I'm going to do as well. The thing which I noticed about the, the John Deere, at, at least this one, the turning grease is kind of, kind of crap on him. I'm not sure it's, it's just me. It kind of feels like it's just bad. But um, it might be just me. Okay, bit of Bob Bob. Swing your pipe this way. And let's go. Okay, how bad does this look? The thing about this is, like, we might be wasting all that beautiful corn. And, uh, and, and yeah, I don't know. Well, time will tell, I guess, right? The shite maker. I'm such a nerd, man. <laughs> this is so sweet. Like the range on that pipe. Like it's squirting so much. Bob, stop squirting. Like, I'm... I'm pretty much filled up in, like, what? Now? That was super nifty. So he's gonna be pretty much just waiting for us until we get back. That's perfect. Uh, let's head to... Let's head back to base and make ourselves one of those silo bunkers and whatnot. Man, the question is, where do we... Where do we even place one of those? So, uh, you know what? Let's just check this out. Because we could do maybe in the backstages of the... Uh, what are you going to call it? Of the... Of the cow pasture. I'm thinking that we could have it maybe here. Uh, let's check it out. Uh, how big is this guy even? Uh, first things first, F1. So we just know the price about this. I know the, I'm not sure if I can even afford it. How much was that? The small ones are tiny, right? Yeah, like just judging from the, from the size of it. It's not a bad size. Um, we have a medium one. Ugh, crap. You know what? Let's just do it over here. Uh, oh, you know what? It, okay. This might actually be a thing as well. I'm gonna put it down. Like there was no tomorrow. Three, two, one, and don't do it. I'm doing it. Boom, done it. Ooh. What have I done? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Um okay, we do have a dub double one. Uh not sure we need a double one, but we can start maybe smoothing this out a little bit. Man, this is a mistake, I guess. Let's see, if I would just... Ugh. I like this, I like that. I, it's, it's not what I had in mind, I guess, but, but now it's here. Now it's placed, now it's a little bit terraformed. And as long as we can, can make use of this, it should be fine. Can I just do... So, there we go. Where's the grass? There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Um, oh my goodness, it's coming along. Like, I think we saved it. Like, it was it was ruined for a moment, and I think we've, we've saved, it, saved it a little bit. This is a little bit of a, of a what are you going to call it? A Bob Rose moment of year. Yeah, we will definitely need something here to reverse our trailers in. 
And I guess this little thing works, but having a road going alongside or the whole way around would be much, much, much better. So, um, let's see how this even works. So we can go in on this side. That should not be a biggie, right? Nope, there's a thing. And can we go from this side? That is the question. Yep, and I think we can go out all the way there as well. Without any big issues, right? So let's just see. F1, unload here, is control I, uh, honk, detach, and stop engine. Oh, fill level shaft and compacting, 0%. All right, so let me just do control I. And then what we need to do is make this compact somehow, right? Maybe I should just be driving back and forth with this guy. Am I compacting? Oh yeah, 1% compacted. So yeah, I'm gonna be driving back and forth. Not 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 with the trailer, that is, because uh, it's not the, the not the ideal way to do to do this. But uh, that is how you do it. And then we're gonna have uh, some crap next doors as well. And then we're just gonna be compacting this back and forth, back and forth. Um, that's what I'm thinking at least, and I'm hoping. As I do say this uh, kind of every episode, but I'm hoping that that's gonna be the next money maker for us. Will it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just here to try out stuff. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get the Valtra over there as well, and the Valtra can be can be plowing. Meanwhile, because corn is a, a crop in the game, I guess, which needs uh, or requires plowing in between every single like uh, seeding uh, or harvest, I guess. Uh, not sure, but I think that is the case. And uh, where exactly did we put the plow? I believe the plow was. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I don't know. You will have to let me know about the farm. But I think it's coming along quite nicely. It's, uh, it's, it's I guess, <laughs> far, far from perfect. And we also need a better plow. This, this agromash is kind of like a tiny version. But since I'm hiring people for this task, I don't really mind. But if I would be doing this myself, I would, uh, I would be very, very, uh, very upset. But um, I guess this is going to be a time saver, so somebody could be plowing, like a hired worker, and I'm going to be driving alongside uh, the crone with the, uh, with the shite maker. <laughs> it looks so nice. Just seeing them plowing in the backstage as well. And yeah, we need to go back to Carlos and grab the, the the crap we will use to flatten or compact the, the silage with or s silage i'm sorry silage okay we fine we good silage i guess it's gonna be two full trailers out of this that's what i'm hoping for at least Two full trailers? Yeah. It should be two full trailers. Swing your pipe, Bob. And start squirting. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm hoping that this is gonna make us some cash. I'm uh, I'm kind of poor. We do have uh, 65k, and we have leased equipment. However, I do have the, the horses to sell. I believe the horses are almost done, and we have milk, a uh, crap ton of milk to sell. We also have uh, some eggs to sell. Yeah, we should be fine. What is that, by the way? You know what? Uh, stop it for a moment. Boom. What is this little building? Kind of like a water type of deal? And you know what I saw? Where the crab was that? Uh, is it up here? 
Uh, can I steal something? I'm not, I don't know what I want to steal. Oh, there's a nice ladder we've got there. Um, is it up here? There was a little, like, lake on the map. Uh, nope, that's the train tracks, Carlos. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, here it is. Look at this. How adorable is that? What the crap is this, however? No way! An accident? Hello? But uh, what happened over here? I wish this gaming... You know what? It lacks... It lacks fishing. It lacks... It lacks the relaxation part. You know, you've been harvesting the whole day or whatnot, right? And then you just wanna, like, uh, chill. Not Netflix and chill. Well, maybe you wanna Netflix and chill. Who, who knows? Can you imagine if they would add something like... Uh, like a little casino of some type or, or whatnot. That would be so awesome! Just having a little, like, pub or bar where you can play cards. A little bit like uh, Red Dead Redemption, you know? Just out of a card game. It does hold 48,000 uh, liters. So yeah, it's almost... It's almost two trailer loads on, on this field. It's almost 100 uh, liters of chef. Easy. Okay, the back is swinging a little bit. We've got this. Boom, done. Perfect. Control I. Yeah, this this uh, this uh, this shite maker is amazing. Like with conveyor belt, especially. Ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, well, how much? Uh, eating almost 90k of chef over there. So let's park this guy just over here. Let's go to town and pick up the, the equipment we need. So I guess Susan and Valtra could be sewing this field as well. Uh, let's get a pipe job in. Let's fold it. And let's uh, just get this guy down. Man, you know what? This this guy is super fast. Uh, I don't think he's gonna mind if he's gonna get a like, get a forger in the driveway. Nothing is happening here any any house. Boom, perfect. And lower it. Zzz, we might actually require a front way to this. Uh, how about the front? Do I push this? I guess, I guess not at this stage. Okay, this is, this is kind of neat. But I'm not sure this is how you're supposed to do it. If you guys get any better suggestions, please let me know, because maybe like a machine which is tons better than this one, to do this. How cool is in this game? How are you doing on packing levels? 100% packed. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. It's not a lot of stuff inside of it, but uh, I'm happy. Uh, can I fold this guy for now? Fold X. Perfect. That's a little nifty tool. But uh, let me just park this guy. Outside my new fancy barn. Beacons. There we go. Live at the farm. Okay, it's a little bit wonky here and there, I guess. But 
Thank goodness for the landscaping tool. Because now what we could do is just go in here. Okay, where's the wonky part? Where did I see this? It was somewhere about here, right? Like this. You see? And then we just flatten it. Not really flatten, but just smooth it out. It's a little bit wonky here as well. I think I'm gonna call this quits in today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like, if you did, do hit the like button and let me know what you think about the farm. But it's slowly coming along. It's getting to, to a cozy point. Uh, well, no, cozy point. It's getting to a point which 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 I really like. Like, it feels more uh, of a farm. It feels like home. But yeah, you guys let me know. Uh, have a very, very nice day. And I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. You know, before we go, let me just hear. I'm going to tab all the way to Susan. Susan, how are you doing? Yeah, you're like... It's not really done, done. But you're getting there, Susan. So thank you so much for watching once again. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode of Farming Simulator. Keralis, over now. Have a very, very, very nice day. Bye-bye.